Damn, Yaz. Nice. You take it. I'll drive out to the drop-off behind you. On it. We're keeping this little job between us, right? Ooh, don't mind if I do. Let's not wait around. For sure. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. Shit! Damn it! Jasmine, is this car hot? Uh, maybe. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the drop-off. Got it. Stay safe. Suspect's somehow got away from me. Razor just vanished in University Central. Search the area. Lost visual on the driver. Call it in. Come on, Yaz. Pick up. Pick up. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Yo, Yaz, where are you? I'm at the drop-off and there's nothing here. Are you sure this Alec guy gave you the right address? Shit! Yaz, the garage alarm just went off. Are you satisfied with this message? Screw it. Gotta get back to the garage. Rydell's rides. Call back during normal business hours. Shit. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Shit! Where is everybody? No, no, no. <sighs> Shit, Rydell, you okay? They emptied a lot. Wait here. Shit! I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yeah, let's go. They just said your name. Rydell, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted to. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. Yes! Wait! What the hell? Did she just take the car? Kia, she took everything.
said no one could clean up Lakeshore, she grabbed the mob. Re-elect Mayor Morgan Stevenson, the leader Lakeshore deserved. Hey, Rydell. Kind of dead again today. Oh, some little lady came in for an oil change. She didn't have any money, though. Just samosas. Yours is in the fridge. Well, I'm gonna lock up for now. See if I can make a few extra bucks on the side. Oh! I cleaned out the storeroom. And dude, you were right. It's a possum, not a rat. So... Yeah. He's still in there. Oh, hey. The book you ordered came in. Bro, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'll be in early tomorrow to open up, okay? Peace. Aye. Who needs a ride? Rydell's Rides. Need a lift? Hey, name's Jess. Heard you might be a good person to call for a cheap ride. I'll hit you with the address on where I'm heading. No sweat. Be there soon. Yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. And you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Yeah, hi. Um, Tess? Yo! Yo, I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh... I got you. What? Do you have a pet chinchilla or, like, a... Awesome or something? Um, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Oh, you race? Well, something like that. Anyways, cops had that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shake up from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. If you know, you know, and I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene, but you don't have a car? Real Gs get rides. I also like being on time. Yup, does this thing go any faster? Five stars, great conversation. Eh, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Oh yeah, thanks for the advice. Look at you, scaring the poor citizens of Lakeshore.
wanted to do that. Just took a big knock right there. <laughs> between you and Miss Monologue back there. That what you saw back there, that's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car. That she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. Wait till Rydell hears this. Who? Oh, he, uh, he runs the garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. This is it. Rydell's rides. Not bad. I think he a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop! Wasn't me! Whoa, whoa. Kid, you triggered the alarm system. Hey, no touching. Sorry, this is Tess. Took your head off. Nice to meet you, Slugger. Right on. I saw Jasmine. She just rolled up at this meetup. You're kidding. She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Roll down, kid. Now, let's say you do this, okay? And you throw down with Jasmine, and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was about. Now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure. I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like, the cops? <laughs> oh yeah. And the kid was crazy fast outrunning them. Now, I'm thinking, learn from the best. Listen, I got what you need, cash. And you two got what I want, a reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors. Come on, Rydell. I can win. We can bring this place back. I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me, no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice. Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. Uh, sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. Oh, <laughs> I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car. Yo, kid. Want to catch up about the scene? Is this gonna be another one of those we did things differently when I used to race type of calls? Hey, back in the day. Winning wasn't a be-all and end-all. So it is one of those calls. I used to race against this real loud mouth. Funny, I can relate. Whole race just wouldn't shut up. So one day, I throw down some stacks. Called them out. Told them, let's race for more than just bragging rights. How about next month's friend? Oh, shit. What'd he do? Put his money where his trash talking mouth was. After that, Side bets became the norm in the scene. Damn, Rydell. Remember, though, know your opponent. Don't be thinking you're better than you are. Fast way to lose a lot of money. Got it, Rydell. Thanks, boss. Appreciate you.
is a ghost dispatch. Everyone converge on Underwood Gardens. We just lost the suspect there. 2440 is out of here. Hey, if you're cruising around the lake, could you pick up a car for me? A Buick Grand National. They wanted to see how fast they can go with a real driver behind the wheel. You know any? <laughs> wow, the dad joke energy is real today. Drop me a pin. Sure. A pin. Right. Send me the location. On it. And I'm pretty excited. The Regal from hell. Classic 80s muscle. My pop's dream car. He called it the Corvette Killer. So you better make him proud. No pressure. Hey, Speedy. We've got six days to get into the first qualifier. Let's make some cash and pimp this new ride up to spec. I hear you. Oh, and I've been doing some digging. Sounds like the Grand is gonna be four stages, four different vehicles. Four? So you're gonna loan me the money for those as well? Why is it starting to sound like a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Speedy! Trust issues much? Did someone hurt you in the prologue of your life? Wait, you've been digging into me too? Ah, game recognizes game. Don't worry, I'm working on scoring you a little side hustle. Maybe make a little extra something something before the next qualifier. So you're my manager now? Manager? Ooh, I like the sound of that. But I don't do pep talks. The only thing that talks in this world is money. So go... Safe and sound. Now that's how you drive. Customer so impressed he said he would follow us on Insta. Do we have an Insta? Is that a coffee machine? Didn't test that one up. Where? In the kitchen? No, no, no. No. It's a social media account. Oh, right. That at Mr. Ride thing. Hold on. Look at him. There's a video of a dog skateboarding and people eating dumplings out of expensive sneakers. Look at I'll figure it out. Uh... No, she, wait, hold on, she saw a dog skateboarding? Not the point I was making. Later, kid. Yo! I'm gonna do a little digging about Yaz and the crew she's rolling with. I have a feeling she isn't the only one behind the Grand. Really? Wow, um... Wow, I'm curious, what gave it away? The huge prize money? Maybe she's been giving rides to randos for cash. In your car. Anywho, I'm craving boba. Peace!
Today at City Hall, Mayor Stevenson announced increased funding for the Lakeshore PD. Cars are causing havoc on our streets. After last night's high-speed antics endangering the good citizens of Lakeshore, I'm pushing my no-nonsense-for-nonsense policy into action. Make sense? Nonsense.
willing to get your hands dirty. Ooh, a little extra cash wouldn't hurt. But Rydell doesn't know it won't hurt him, right? Because that worked out so well last time. Huh? The garage got jacked. And now I'm trying to win my, my car back. Any of this ring a bell? Uh-huh. Ooh, 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 don't forget my cut. I don't want to have to break your thumbs. <laughs> JK, blood makes me squeamish. Well, I'm getting ramen and watching that new reality show where they put naked people on stage and make them sing for clothes. Season finale. <gasps> Maybe one of them will finally get socks. <laughs> See ya. Pulled the disappearing act at University Central. Ah, hell no, you're not losing me this time. Dispatch, this son of a bitch just slammed us. Reinforcements are nearly there. Dispatch, 
this bitch. We're getting our ass kicked here. All units be advised. Burp has entered Southland Drive. Dispatch, bad news. I lost them. Suspect just pulled the vanishing act on Southland Drive. Keep looking. Dispatch, that 2440 is long gone out of here. Hey, kid. How'd it go out there today? Not bad. Tess seems to be on it, so that's something. Good to hear. Okay, listen. You know Jasmine is gonna do anything it takes to win, right? Yeah, I kinda got that feeling. Okay, so make sure the car's performing. You gotta pimp it. Don't scrimp it. Pimp it, don't scrimp it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, improve the performance of the car and earn some money. Oh, no, no, I get it. I just hadn't really heard that before. Good, right? I might stick it on a T-shirt. Anyway, see you back at the garage. Whatever you say, Rydell.
are listening to News Across the Lake on KRS-FM, the number one station. Coming up, more from our exclusive interview with Mayor Stevenson. I want to assure the people of Lakeshore that their safety is my first priority. Now, I know the increased police presence is affecting the day-to-day -day in Lakeshore, but trust me, I hear you. We are in this together. Some people think you're too focused on crime and not enough on the problems of everyday people. I would say crime is a problem for everyday people, wouldn't you? Just answer the question, Mayor. 